Hello, in this video we're going to do a problem where we have a perfectly competitive firm who has the following production relationship. L is units of labor and Q represents the competitive firm's output. A perfectly competitive firm has the following production relationship between labor and output. We saw that before. The firm sells its product at a price of $100 per unit and hires labor at a wage of $1. What is the firm's profit maximizing output? And let's assume that the firm has fixed cost equal to $4. We're going to set up the profit function. So profit is revenue minus cost, where revenue is the price per unit, in this case $100, times the quantity of units. We're going to subtract out the variable cost, which is the wage times units of labor, and then subtract out the $4 of fixed cost. So let's make some substitutions. Once again, the price is $100, so I'm going to plug 100 in for P. The wage is $1, as given in the question here. And L, we have an expression for L. And we're going to plug in for L this 100Q minus 0.5Q squared and so on. That's in parentheses. And then finally, we subtract out the fixed cost of $4. We're going to distribute this minus 1 here through the what's in parentheses. And we get this result. Uh, and now we can take a derivative. Uh, so taking the derivative of the profit function, uh, the derivative of 100q is 100, the div derivative of a mi minus 100q is minus 100, and the derivative of 0.5q squared is just q, and the derivative of this minus q raised to the third power divided by 600 gives us this result right here. We're maximizing, so we're setting this derivative equal to 0. We notice that the 100s cancel. And then just factoring out a Q term here, we're left with the following expression. So that's what we left the last slide with, this expression here. So to find the values where uh, this equals 0, uh, if we set Q equal to 0, we'll get 0 here. And if we find where what's in parentheses to equal 0 by doing the following, uh, if Q is 200, then what's in parentheses will also be zero, and that 200 then will be the profit maximizing output. So at 200 units of output, how many workers will the firm hire? Plugging it into that labor expression, firm will hire over 13,000 workers. And in terms of profit then, here's our profit function from before. Just plug in all the values we know. The price is 100. The firm is going to produce 200 units of output. Uh, it's going to hire a little over 13,000 workers, so the wage times the number of workers. And subtracting out the fixed cost of $4, we have the firm's total profit. Okay, that's it.